Question 10. What is the difference between a relay and a PLC? A relay and a PLC, programmable logic controller, are both electrical control devices, but they have significant differences. 1. Functionality, relay. Relays are simple electromechanical switches that use an electromagnet to control the opening or closing of contacts. They are typically used for basic on-off control in electrical circuits. PLC. PLCs are advanced digital devices designed for automation and control of complex processes. They can perform tasks beyond simple switching, such as logic operations, data processing, and sequential control. 2. Programmability. Relay. Relays are not programmable. Their behavior is fixed and determined by their physical wiring. PLC. PLCs are highly programmable. Users can create custom programs or logic to control processes and adapt to various scenarios. 3. Flexibility. Relay. Relays are less flexible and require rewiring if changes to the control logic are needed. PLC. PLCs offer flexibility through software programming, allowing quick and easy modifications to control strategies without rewiring. 4. Complexity. Relay. Relays are suitable for relatively simple control tasks and are often used in applications with limited complexity. PLC. PLCs are designed to handle complex and multifaceted control processes commonly found in industrial automation. 5. Size and space. Relay. Relays can take up more physical space due to the need for multiple relays for different functions. PLC. PLCs are compact and can replace multiple relays with a single unit, saving space in control panels. 6. Cost. Relay. Relays are generally more cost-effective for simple control tasks. PLC. PLCs can be more expensive due to their advanced capabilities and programmability. In summary, relays are suited for basic switching applications, while PLCs are designed for versatile and complex automation tasks, offering programmability, flexibility, and space-saving advantages. The choice between the two depends on the specific requirements of the control system. Question 11. What is a function block diagram? A function block diagram, FBD, is a graphical programming language used in the field of industrial automation and control systems. It's a representation of a control system's logic using various graphical elements to depict the functions and operations of different components. Here are key features and components of an FBD. 1. Function blocks. In an FBD, functions are represented by graphical blocks. Each block typically performs a specific operation or function, such as addition, comparison, or signal processing. These function blocks are interconnected to create the control logic. 2. Input and output variables. Inputs and outputs to the function blocks are represented by arrows or lines connecting the blocks. Input variables might include sensor readings or external signals, while output variables represent the results of the function's operation. 3. Logical connections. Lines or arrows connecting the blocks represent the flow of data or control signals between function blocks. These connections define the logical sequence and relationships between the functions. 4. Control flow. Function blocks are arranged in a sequence to describe the control flow of a process or system. This arrangement shows how data flows from one operation to the next. 5. Conditional logic. FBDs can incorporate conditional logic through elements like decision blocks. These blocks allow the program to make decisions based on input conditions, much like conditional statements in traditional programming. 6. Mathematical operations. FBDs often include mathematical and logical operations like addition, subtraction, and Oregon, and not gates. These operations can be used to manipulate data and make control decisions. 7. Visualization. FBDs provide a visual representation of control logic, making it easier for engineers and technicians to understand and troubleshoot complex systems. 8. Compatibility. FBDs are commonly used with programmable logic controllers, PLCs, and other industrial control systems. Many PLC programming environments support FBDs as one of the programming languages. Function block diagrams are valuable tools in industrial automation because they allow engineers and operators to design and implement control logic for complex processes in a clear and intuitive manner. They are especially useful for systems where visualizing the control flow and relationships between components is essential.
Question 12. What is the difference between a digital input and a digital output in a PLC? Digital inputs and digital outputs in a programmable logic controller, PLC, are fundamental components of industrial control systems, and they serve different purposes. 1. Digital input, DI. Purpose. Digital inputs are used to receive signals or information from external devices, such as sensors or switches, into the PLC. Functionality. They monitor the state of external devices and provide feedback to the PLC about the presence or absence of a signal. Typical usage. Digital inputs are commonly used for tasks like reading the status of limit switches, push buttons, proximity sensors, or detecting the state of equipment, for example, whether a motor is running or stopped. 2. Digital Output DU. Purpose Digital outputs are used to control external devices or equipment based on the logic and decisions made within the PLC. Functionality They can send signals to turn devices on or off, such as controlling motors, valves, relays, or indicator lights. Typical Usage Digital outputs are used to activate or deactivate various components in an industrial system, implementing control actions based on the PLC's programmed logic. In summary, digital inputs are used to gather information from the external world and provide it to the PLC, allowing it to make decisions based on that input. Digital outputs, on the other hand, enable the PLC to control external devices or equipment by sending signals to turn them on or off according to the logic programmed in the PLC. These two types of signals, inputs and outputs, are central to the functioning of a PLC and are essential for automation and control in various industrial applications. Question 13. What is the difference between a ladder diagram and a function block diagram, ladder diagram, LD, and function block diagram, FBD? are two of the graphical programming languages used in programmable logic controllers, PLCs, for industrial automation. They have distinct visual representations and characteristics. Ladder Diagram, LD. 1. Visual Representation. Ladder diagrams are represented as a series of horizontal lines, rungs, with vertical lines, rails on each side, resembling a ladder. Contacts input devices, and coils, output devices, are placed on the rungs, and logical operations are depicted using various symbols. 2. Usage. LD is often used for simple and sequential control tasks. It's well suited for representing relay logic and mimics the traditional electrical control circuitry. 3. Ease of understanding. Ladder diagrams are intuitive for electricians and technicians familiar with electrical schematics, making them easier to understand for many users. 4. Sequential logic. LDs excel at representing sequential control processes, where actions occur in a specific order or sequence. Function block diagram, FBD. 1. Visual representation. FBDs use graphical blocks to represent various functions or operations. These blocks are connected by lines to indicate data flow or logical relationships. Each block performs a specific function, such as arithmetic operations, comparisons, or data transformations. 2. Usage. FBDs are versatile and suitable for complex control tasks. They can handle tasks beyond simple sequencing and are particularly effective for parallel processing and data manipulation. 3. Modularity. FBDs promote a modular approach making it easy to reuse function blocks across different parts of the control program, enhancing code modularity and reusability. 4. Complex logic. FBDs are ideal for handling complex logic and mathematical operations, which may involve multiple inputs and outputs. In summary, the primary differences between ladder diagrams, LD, and function block diagrams, FBD, lie in their visual representation and typical usage. LDs are well-suited for straightforward sequential control tasks and resemble traditional relay logic. FBDs, on the other hand, offer a more versatile approach, allowing for complex parallel processing and data manipulation tasks. The choice between the two depends on the specific control requirements and the familiarity of the programming team with each language.